Hello again everyone, welcome to the channel. I had to share this little book with you. Julie, um, my lovely friend and subscriber here on the channel, sent this gorgeous little hardback book to me um, and she said I thought I'd, that I would really love it and she's right, I absolutely do. I don't think, let me just check on Amazon, I'm just looking now, it's not a colouring book but you wait till you see and it, the paper in it is divine. So this is Little Bunny's Book of Thoughts by Steve Smallham. And like I say, it's a little hardback book, hand size, and it, you wait till you see the images. It is just adorable. And it's all about sort of inspirational things. And for someone like me that struggles with anxiety, probably due to the, to the fibromyalgia, the little notes in it are just so lovely. So it's all about this little guy, little bunny, and he is the most adorable little thing ever. Um, it was published in 2020 and I do believe there's another one which I am going to have to get because this is just adorable. So Little Bunny's Book of Thoughts and this is your page belongs to. Look at him. How could you not love him? Isn't he adorable? So um, little quotes like when everything seems to be out of reach and some days you do get days like that don't you? But look at that image. If I forgive me for not including the quotes if I focus more on the beautiful images the paper is really good and we wouldn't have a, a problem colouring on that it's not advertised as a colouring book but I think it certainly should be it's beautiful so you get a quote like this on either side on one side of the paper so you wouldn't be able to use alcohol markers because like this one is backed onto this next one so this little guy is a bigger version. Oh, he's managed to get in his boat. Look. So you feel lost and alone and all at sea. It's just a beautiful, beautiful little book. And it says when you're looking for something. but not really sure anymore what that something might be. It makes me quite emotional reading it actually. But look at his little face. I can't wait to colour in this. And um, Julie when she messaged me to say that she'd sent it said she could see it done in light sort of pastel -y tones and I agree I think it would be just beautiful with just subtle colours. So this this little guy, it says, when life seems to be such a struggle and everything gets in your way. I'm going to stop reading the quotes because it's making me emotional. Because it was a gift to me and the thought that went into it, knowing, you know, how I've been, that I've not been well and and the struggles. So, um, but I'll just flip and let you see the most wondrous images. Look at this one, honestly, look, look at him and it says, because it's like a, a poem through the book and it says, turns, um, turn into an ears down day, look at him. Oh, okay. I'm not going to read the quotes because they will make me cry. But I have to colour this and I'm just looking now and there's another one. Um, little um, little Benny's book of friends too so there must be more I'm gonna go and have a look look at that face and there's not that many pages for coloring but what a beautiful book to have especially as a gift and that you've colored yourself you know with little uplifting quotes in there <laughs> just gorgeous and they just look at his face he's just so lovely he's got his little friend mole there look and it gets more uplifting towards the end so it talks about hard days and um, you know what to do on those hard days what you could do on those hard days to make life easier for you and I just think 
It is the most special book ever. I'm just going to click on it and see what it says about it while we're flipping. And look at his smile. It says, and in no time at all, you'll remember to smile. Look at his beautiful face. Um, it says, Little Benny's Book of Thoughts is a beautifully illustrated rhyming picture book which encourages mindfulness and offers a child-friendly advice for dealing with emotions that may be struggling that they may be struggling with. It helps a reader consider ways that they can regain a positive attitude and experience feelings of calmness, something that all of us are struggling with in these strange times. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Julie, you find the most beautiful things. And I'm so grateful that you've included me in this because I am thrilled with it. So we can pick out a colour tone for Little Bunny and really relax and enjoy colouring in him. Colouring in it and colouring him. <laughs> Look at this one. This one is him looking out at that shooting star and it says, Dare to believe that a wish can come true. I can't read them because, like I say, I can feel the lump in my throat as I as I do it. Gosh, look at him, he's so beautiful. And I'm all emotional. Sorry, folks. Channel's turning into a an emotionally charged <laughs> videos. Oh god, he's so cute. You'll sleep tight at night and, and dream sweet dreams. Look at him. It's so beautiful. So, um, I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do some research on this guy, or yeah, Steve. I'm gonna do some research on him because I'm definitely going to be adding um, the other books that I can find from him to my wish list because these are incredible. So I don't know about the others yet, but I will put a link in the description box to this little book, which was five pounds seventy-five. Can you believe it? And like I say, the paper is not storybook paper. It's beautiful quality paper that um, we can colour on with ease. Um, and there's the back cover. Isn't that just the most adorable thing you've seen? So I had to share that with you because um, I was so, so excited when I looked through it. And just the thought that had gone into this book. And I know a lot of you will really love it. So, I'm going to share this with you and I'm going to go off and find as many of the others of his books as I can and get them on my wish list ready for next day's, next month's payday, certainly. So, thank you, Julie. Thank you to everyone for watching. I've been tagged, um, or I've been asked to do the Hannah Carlson tag um, to show support for her. So, I will be trying to film that later on today and get that up to you so that we can do finished pages tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed. I love it. Absolutely adore it. All right, folks. Until we meet again later, take really good care. Bye.